the last group in January was pretty amazing. There was this woman that says, but I don't need so much money, you know, I'm, you know, two and a half thousand, whatever it was. That's enough for me. Why do I have to do that? And I just went boom and telling her if what I told them in a different way, you know, when you're thinking small, when you're working small, you're ripping other people off. You have a gift, you have something to give. If you give it to 50 people a year because that's enough for your income and you don't give it to another 950 that you could give, you're ripping them off. I mean, I had after the book, after the book was out in Dutch, about, I don't know, a few months later, six months later, we got an email in the office uh, from a guy say, uh, I, I was, I need to tell you something, I need to share something. And he said, uh, I was a junkie, I was a heroin junkie, heavy for 14 years. And I got your book somehow, he didn't say how, I got your book, I read it, I did all the exercise, the six weeks, and now after six months, I'm off the drugs and I started my own business. And he said, you saved my life. And we're sitting in the office, I think there was, it was still small, four or five of us, and we were crying, you know, we were sitting crying there about that. But at one point, it, it occurred to me that I waited with that book for a year before I published it because I thought, what if people won't like it? What if it's not good enough? And for a year, how many other people I could save their life this way or another by, you know, but I didn't do that because I, my ego was too fragile. And that's what I'm trying to tell those people. You know, you have something to, the, to give. You don't know if you, when you're living here from your hand, you don't know if, if, somebody, if somebody is crashing to you with a car and you'll never be able to give your big gift again. So it's your job right now to give it as soon as you have and as much as you have. That's what we're talking about for your potential. And when pl stuff like this comes, then I will, I will come and I will make it very, 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 very clear to people. People are scared, we talked about it yesterday, people are stuck and they're scared and they don't know what to do. So the first thing they do is they try to keep themselves safe and small. And what I'm trying to do is to kick their ass as much as I can. So there's not really a point for me to do that on the first day. I'm just going to get them to leave the room, you know. <clears throat> but after a day, if they come back, they trust enough. And, uh, and then I can, second day is an easier day to kick, kick people's ass. You know, seriously, and people are coming one after another and says, thank you for kicking my ass.